Hi and welcome to a new video. If you want to reinstall your Mac with an M1 chip, then definitely stay tuned. In this video, I'll show you when it makes sense to restore a MacBook to factory settings and what you have to pay attention to. Let's go! What's important to remember? This tutorial only works with Macs that use Apple's own processor. If you click on the Apple symbol and then on About This Mac, you can check whether you use an Apple chip or, for example, one from Intel. If the latter is true, then the process to reinstall your Mac is different than I'll show you in this video. Why would you reinstall your Mac? Firstly, to free up some space. It's quite common to not have enough storage on a Mac, and the longer you use your Mac, the more garbage accumulates. For example, programs like to store cache files on the memory, which are very difficult to delete without special software and accumulate over time. As a result, the other storage gets more and more cluttered. If you want to know how this works and which software you need in order to get rid of them, take a look at the video I linked at the top right. Another reason is that your Mac is causing problems and you don't know what the problem is. This is also a reason to reset everything and reinstall a clean OS X version. Before resetting your Mac, it is very important to back up any data that you will need later. Because after reinstalling, there will be nothing on your Mac's hard drive other than the operating system and the pre-installed apps. That's the general idea. You can do this easily by using an external hard drive in the pre-installed program Time Machine. Make sure there is no other data on the hard drive, otherwise Time Machine will not be able to store your backup. Now connect the hard drive to your Mac and note that you'll also need a USB-C to USB adapter in addition to the hard drive. If you don't see the hard drive immediately, it may be incorrectly formatted. In this case, open Disk Utility. Click on your hard disk and then on Erase. For the format, choose Mac OS Extended Journaled and click on Erase once again. To create the backup, go to System Preferences. Click on Time Machine and enable Time Machine to be displayed in the menu bar. This way, you can create a backup of your Mac via the menu bar. This might take about an hour. The big advantage of this method is that you definitely backed up all your data and the hard drive will be a clone of your Mac's hard drive. After resetting your Mac, you can then selectively move back only the files to your Mac that you actually need. If you only want to back up very little data, you can of course also back up specific files on a hard drive or a USB stick. If you have subscribed to a cloud service such as iCloud and you have a lot of storage there, you can of course temporarily store your data there if it is not already stored in the cloud anyway. How you do it is completely up to you. Next, sign out of iCloud in case you're signed in. To do that, go back to System Preferences, then click on Apple ID, and then on Sign Out. Here, you can deselect everything and click on Continue. Okay, now your Mac is no longer connected to iCloud and can be reset without iCloud Lock. There are two methods of resetting a Mac, either via the recovery partition or via a USB stick if you want to install a specific OS X version. In this video, I'll only show you the simple reset via the recovery partition. Let's start by turning off your Mac. After it shuts down, use the power button to turn your Mac back on. Keep pressing the button until Loading Startup Options appears on your display under the Apple logo. Now release the button again. You will then see your Macintosh HD on the left and the options on the right. Click on Options and then on Continue. You will then reach the recovery partition. Select Disk Utility below and click on Continue. In this menu, you'll see all your partitions or volumes on your Mac on the left-hand side. Normally, you only have one volume and that's the System Volume. There is always a partition called System Volume 
Most of the time, this one is called Macintosh HD. You have to delete this volume. To do this, click on Erase and then on Erase Volume Group. You can keep the name Macintosh HD as it is and set the format to APFS. Now click on Erase once again. Erase Mac. Erase Mac and restart. Now wait for the Mac to restart. Select your language and click Next. Next, you need to connect to a Wi-Fi network so Apple can check if your Mac has an iCloud lock. Since we already signed out of iCloud, your Mac is already activated. Otherwise, you'd have to verify yourself with your Apple ID and your password. Alright, now the hard drive is formatted, but you can't do much with a Mac without installing the operating system. That's why you should click on Reinstall Mac OS. Continue. Continue. Agree. Agree. Now, choose your formatted hard drive and click on Continue again twice. Your Mac will need approximately half an hour to load the operating system online and install it. It says three hours here, but this depends a lot on your internet connection. For me, it worked much faster than that. Definitely charge your Mac, especially if you don't have much battery left. Once the Mac is done, you can set it up just as you're used to. Choose your country and connect to Wi-Fi. When you are asked whether you want to transfer data to your Mac, click on Not Now at the bottom left, since we don't want to transfer all, but only specific individual data from the backup at the end. Click yourself through until you reach the end. Choose a username and so on. Okay, you reset your Mac to factory setting. You can now reinstall all of your programs from either the App Store or the Internet. Reconnect your hard drive and load all the data you need from the backup back to your Mac. In case you saved your data on iCloud, you'll have to log in there first before you can access your data. Once you set up everything and you returned all your data to your Mac, I suggest creating another backup in Time Machine. This won't take long. The advantage of this is that you won't need to reinstall all programs again next time you restore your Mac. Instead, you can just use your newly set up Time Machine backup and be much faster. All your settings will be applied there as well. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.